welcome back you beauty so here have another video today i got a comment quite recently which said about baymax's mods now i have leveled them up a little bit since the last time i've actually done this i did a video on this for about three months ago so i thought let's jump in so i want to give a huge shout out to measles please alex ed night 444 but this is nightfall 44's question he asks what mods do i use on baymax so i thought i'd do a video it's not when i run out of ideas right i thought i'd do a video just going over and answering some questions so do leave some questions down i might do a week where i just answer some people's questions in videos i love it i love talking to you guys so do leave some comments down below and let me know what you think so this is nightfall 44 now baymax you all know that I think Baymax is one of the best characters in the game anyway. So going into the premium battle, uh, what am I talking about? So going into this, I generally do still think he's the best character in the game. I haven't gotten to the yellow 24 quite yet. And of course we can get up to the next level now. I just haven't done any upgrades yet, but we can go to 3-5-5. Five, five. So of course I will be making sure Baymax levels that up. So I always like to keep him on that level. And of course, guys, just to push out, it is the last day of the prize war today. So do make sure you use all of your remaining tokens because there's no point in leaving them. Because, I mean, you do get quite a nice amount of gold from it. And of course, you get a nice amount of everything. So do make sure you come in and go as far as you can on the prize wall with the rest of your shards. Because, yeah, they disappear. They will disappear. So just make sure you get everything sorted. Oh, I've actually managed, I've actually managed to pull him a couple more times here. Anyway, let's get to Nightfall's question and look at the good old Big Hero 6 here. So, now, going into Baymax, of course, like, I want to filter, can I filter by Big Hero 6? Yeah, let's do that. So, let's filter by Big Hero 6 here. So, you can see my Big Hero 6 team. I, I'm going to be honest with you, most of these characters are quite good. And conveniently, like I covered before, Fred's a very good counter for Baymax. So, just remember that. The Big Hero 6 characters are very good. If I'm starting at taking a look at the Big Hero 6 Baymax, let's jump into that now. Baymax, items, mods. We've got four skill mods that all increase his blast off move. That is the quick rundown of the mods that I use. Now let's get into a little bit more detail. So you could be asking, why did I approach these mods? Now I want to break down my logic for mods. And you can apply this to any character obviously that has mods on them so do just um i don't need to i need to unequip some of the mods on some of my characters you know because most of the cast who've got mods on i don't use okay so back to baymax so why did i put four blast off mods on baymax now it's very very simple uh, as you know i think baymax is one of the better characters in the game so i wanted to do something a bit mental basically so i've got four on here i'm almost tempted to just use all of the upgrades on his mods to just see what stupid level I can get them to. But I'll advance this one and I can um see that's the thing, I haven't got much mod powder. So I've been quite naughty with doing the um the uh, invasion. So uh, I I do need to make sure I get back into that because I would like to try and get all of Bay Max's mods level 100. It's just fun and he's kind of my main aim to increase. But I'm talking too much now, aren't I? So why have I got these mods to this level? Now it's very simple. And the way that I process it, Night Angel, is I look at a character and I go, why am I using them? That is the first question. Now, yes, you could go onto a, a Discord or in my comments and or copy my mod build, but it might not make sense for your team. So I don't use Baymax as a tank. I use him as a damage character. So the first thing I need to do is what move is causing that damage? So I'll go in and go, the only reason I use Baymax is for Blast Off. Now, this is a very easy example here. But the only reason I actually ever used Baymax was for this blast off move because of how stupid it is. So yeah, I thought logically, let's get four skill mods on because the skill mods increase here. And then they're also pushing the levels up. So we're getting a huge increase in everything. So, um, and the thing with Baymax is so it, the skill one also increases that as well. But his other moves don't make sense to upgrade because they're just the 350 ones that don't buff stats. So if I was going to give you a piece of advice, it's very worth um, not upgrading any skills with uh, bad mods that have 350 on and no other stats because it's just a waste. So I did blast off because the main reason I picked Baymax 
was to do that move where he flies through everybody. And it, as you can see, and as you can see, I've seen multiple times, that when he used that move, it basically kills everyone. So I, I want to I wanna take this a step further now. I want to I wanna get out up. I know this is probably stupid, but I love Baymax. There we go. So that's put it up another 40 levels. So we're on plus, plus 120 now. That's just ridiculous. Can I do it again? 100. No, I am going to save that just because I'm not going to have other characters, but there we go. So we've got it up another four levels and I will keep creeping these up, but that is why I use that mod build. So I will show you another character quickly, for example, but that's why mod build on Baymax basically allows you to instant kill everyone. I've also got that. Yeah. So it basically he goes on my instant kill team. So that's why I chose those mods. So if I was to pick another character, it was a little bit more complicated. Um, I, I would use Clawhauser, for example, because there's a bit more logic behind his choice. It wasn't just why I will not upgrade one skill. So Clawhauser is a tank. So you can see here that I've got these ones on. I've done all of these ones plus 70 as well. So these are very, very good here. And this is why Clawhauser is on a very, very stupidly high level. So if we go into here, all of them are plus 10 maxed out. I still love Clawhauser. I might pop some of those discs off and move them onto someone else. I don't use them as much anymore. But I chose health mods because he's a tank. And I chose two reality ones, mainly just to focus on his donut move. So if we go into his detailed stats, you can see his reality is pushed up a stupid amount by all his skills. So the reason I did reality was because his donut toss move. Um, so if I go into his skills, his donut toss. Kluaza pulls out a donut throwing, dealing to the closest enemies and eats the feather and healing himself. HP and armor is increased. Kluaza keeps 50% of the armor buff between waves and this is going to heal himself do normal damage and do armor increase oh my goodness Clawhauser gains. so this is one here so clawhauser gains armor equal to 100 of his reality and gains reality equal to 100 of his armor so i've basically done a double up here so it basically almost gives him infinite armor that's why he can last for so long when you see me use him so what i mean by that is in his mod build i've gone for his mods i've gone two reality increasing his armor one armor increasing his reality and another reality one so i've gone three realities to increase armor and i've done one armor to increase reality which then again increases armor so you do need to think a little bit but again this was a very sort of this was years i think years ago i upgraded this one so this might not be the most logical approach now but it still certainly works and that's just by assessing his moves so again a bit more of a different type of one is kermit and the reason I did attack speed on Kermit is because it gets his animation over and done with quicker, which means he can heal quicker. He can go and, and strum the guitar quicker. So that's why I did two on attack speed, giving him 20 percent attack speed, strumming the guitar quicker. And then he dies quite quickly. So I got some armor on him. And I also increased his green skill on this one because his green skill is the one that lowers all enemy. Um, Kermit does a dance lowering all enemies green skill levels by 20 reducing their base damage so that reduces every single enemy's basic damage so I buffed that so there isn't I basically just want to put my foot down here on this because I get a lot of people asking about mods now the question is what mods do I use it's the correct question asking what the correct mods are there aren't correct mods it's just the way you want to approach it like a lot of people can see this and go you're mental doing that but it makes sense for me it's just just pick a character you want to make overpowered and just dump your resources into him and just have fun with it because let's be honest you're not going to be getting top tier in the arena or anything like that because of how ridiculous people spend on stuff but it is worth just pushing in and trying to go as far through as possible so do just consider that and just make sure you just have a bit of fun with the characters that you are using because it's not too um well i mean i guess it is if you're trying to do pvp and stuff but it's not the end of the world pvp is broken because of the prize wall because and what i mean by that is every single time the um prize wall comes out the character that's in the prize wall is the best so it basically makes sort of like trying to uh stay in the lead and pvp almost impossible unless you've got a lot of money now i do it just because i've i've been playing the game kind of since it came out so i've got a lot of sort of spare resources and i've always had time to work on a lot of characters but if you're new to the game, I would have to say it'd be such a struggle to keep up. So just, just honestly, I know it sounds cringy, but just just enjoy it. Like enjoy this game for what it is. It's fun. It's simple. I mean, I've been making videos in this game every day for a couple of years now. I just enjoy it. I enjoy talking to you guys. You know, I am looking for the next game. I'll be honest with you. Um, 
I'm very excited for that Street Fighter one. Hopefully you guys can come and join and play that with me. But yeah, and the new Harry Potter game. I'm very excited for that. The mobile one, not the Xbox game. I haven't actually played the Xbox game yet. But I'm very excited for the um, new mobile game to come out as well. So yeah, th there's a lot of things happening. A lot of things I'm excited for coming out soon. And um, yeah, hope you guys stick around. Do push that like and subscribe button. If you want to support the channel, click that big join button below. Come and join for 99p and it just helps support what I love to do, guys. And I'll see all of you beauties. Oh, I can do the next one in the next one.